We've got till dawn to find the source of this power outage. Let's get digging. <laughs> Excuse me, Strawberry, hmm. can you read this, please? I don't know if the most practical game for a nighttime campout is pick up sticks. <laughs> I thought it said trail mix. <laughs> I got the trail mix and the cereal, celery, soda crackers, wheat crackers, the crackers with pepper sprinkles, the cherry legs, firewood, playing cards, sunscreen, extra socks, bandages, sandwiches, hand sanitizer, trail mix. Oh, wait, I said trail mix. Mm. Um, apples, two dozen. Orange, this is just an overnight camp out. They'll have the power fixed by morning and we can move back into town. <laughs> <gasps> Meanwhile, time to head for the peace and quiet of the wilderness. You think it's fun having all the lights out, huh? Look, look, look. I think it's scary. And I can't find my nail file. Ah! Gracious gooseberries! Lemon, ready to go? <laughs> We've got all your stuff. Oh, um, thanks, but um, I think I might stay home. <gasps> Just can't get enough of the peace and quiet here, huh? I've uh, gotten used to it. <gasps> Is there some other reason you don't want to go camping? Uh, it's just... Aren't there creepy creatures in the woods at night? Creepy, creepy creatures? creatures? What gave you that idea, Lemon? Uh, from a book of spooky stories Blueberry gave me. And <laughs> those were fairy tales. Fictional. As in, not real. It should be fine out there. In the dark, still woods. Uh, maybe Lemon's got something there. We could go get some peace and quiet at the Berry Bitty Dale Inn. I hear they serve a mean breakfast buffet. Mmm. Hi, man. We've been camping at night before. It's always been fun. Listen, I have an idea. Remember how much fun we had on our relay race and treasure hunt? Let's make the creepy woods into a challenge. We have three tents. Let's break into three groups and see which group is brave enough to camp out the longest. Ooh. Dare. I'm in. Me too. I love an adventure. Lemon, you and I can share a tent. We'll be team one. Tent Lemonberry. Plum? Team two rocks. We'll be tent Berry, Plummy, and Orangey. <laughs> <laughs> Raspberry, Cherry, we're team three. Tent Berry Tough. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is going to be so very fun. We'll show them what Team Three is made of. <laughs> well, okay. It's on. That should do it, Tom Tom. Thanks for helping. Well, let's get back on the road. Hmm? What is it, boy? <laughs> you smell something? Oh, I know what you smell. We're not far from Berry Bitty City. How about stopping by and visiting our friends there? I have a book I can return to Blueberry. Hope it's not too late to pop by. Ah, oh, mud pies. How'd we end up at this dead end? I must have turned the wrong way. It's so dark out here. I don't get it. I could see Berry Bitty City right in front of us. Then, all of a sudden, I couldn't see it anymore. Hmm. Well, there's something over there. Oh, here's a trail. Let's see where it leads. Come on, Tom Tom. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> What's wrong, boy? You're not afraid of the dark, are you? It'll be an adventure. I've got snacks. <laughs> I think it will be fabulous fun to sleep under the stars. We don't need the tent unless... Unless what? You know, if, uh, there might be, or like, if there might, if any kind of, well, if a sort of creepy kind of creature happened to be around. 
Now, we can't think like that or we'll never win the challenge. We're gonna be the bravest of the brave, are we not? Uh, sure, but some distraction would be nice. How about we sing a campfire song? It might hear us. It? Maybe we should turn out the light so it doesn't see us. Hmm. Hey, what happened to that light? <clears throat> Don't worry, boy. We'll just follow this path. Want to roast marshmallows? Okay, sure. Anything to take my mind off. Whatever might be out there. In the dark. Help me find some sticks for the marshmallows. Huh. Hmm. Okay. Here's a good one. What did you say? Strawberry, I'm certain I just saw a creepy creature pass by a minute ago. Are you certain? Uh, sort of certain. A creepy creature. Well, what did it look like? Well, I didn't really see it, I guess. Could it have been something else? Like maybe still a creature, but not a creepy one? For example, could it have been a bunny rabbit? Oh. it could have been a creature that is not creepy, perhaps. Well then, let's get roasting. See, <laughs> where did the marshmallows go? Hmm. Popcake, Hannah. <laughs> <laughs> did you take the marshmallows? <laughs> they didn't take them. Hmm. Hmm. Weird. Yeah. Running out of juice. <sighs> but that's okay. More adventure in the dark. Snack time. Yay! Good one, Orange. I'm having a very good time. I'm actually not scared at all. Me neither. <laughs> Wandering off, please. Where are you? Down here. Where'd it go? I don't know. It's like it just got swallowed up. Swallowed up? You know, disappeared. Swallowed up by what? Oh, I, I didn't mean it that way. But you said it. Y you must have had a reason, a, a feeling. No, it's just a way of saying went missing, you know? I didn't mean I really thought something actually, you know, ate our horseshoe. I mean, who would eat a horseshoe anyway? Hmm. A creepy creature, that's who. How do you know creepy creatures don't love horseshoes? <laughs> that's so silly. <laughs> I know. <laughs> did, did, did you hear that? Sounds like... Something eating a horseshoe. Mm. <laughs> Those are good. Where is Blue Bandit? I think she's to the right of her flag. Maybe one of us should go back and guard our flag. That's not, I mean... Is that really fair? Because there's only one of her and two of us. She didn't say we couldn't split up. Okay, but I don't want to be alone. <laughs> okay, don't worry. Uh-huh. Hey, Blue Bandit is making a move for our flag. Let's get hers. <laughs> go, go. <laughs> we captured your flag. I captured your flag. Huh? Ah! It's a tie! I was 
was sure one of you was gonna ambush me over there on your side. <laughs> that was so fun. Let's do a tiebreaker. Definitely. Hot chocolate break first. Yum. Great idea. <laughs> Excuse me, Chiffon. Hot chocolate time. To bravery! To the wild outdoors! Well, ready for another game? Yup! Sure. Where are the flags? Guys, guys, calm down! I've gobbled our horseshoe! We gotta get out of here! It stole our flag! Right under our noses! It's too spooky out here! Someone or something is trying to sabotage our camp out! Well, let's calm down and just review the facts. Fact! Our horseshoes got uh -huh. eaten! Eaten? Well, they definitely disappeared. Our capture the flag flags disappeared also! Hmm. And our marshmallows and roasting sticks did go missing too. Except this one! Ooh, just let that creepy creature try and take this one. <laughs> That's the spirit, Lemon. We may have a thief among us, but why should we let that spoil our camp out? Let's make it part of the challenge. Hmm. Staying out here with a creepy creature thief is challenge enough. I'm thinking instead of which team can stay out here the longest, which team can catch the culprit? Hmm. Mm -hmm. How do you catch a creepy creature horseshoe eater? Well, I guess it's up to your team. Hmm. <gasps> I've got it! <gasps> I know how to catch it! Shh! Lemon, what do you see? You're right, Strawberry! No one is gonna stop me from having a roasted marshmallow. <laughs> You're right, Lemon. Let's capture that marshmallow thief. Creature's gonna creep past this. <gasps> oh, Marmalade! How did you get out of here? You're supposed to stay in the tent. What was that? Come on, we'll find out. I can't sleep. Me neither. I'm too excited. I hope we catch the creepy creature. I'm thirsty. Want some water? I'm having a hot chocolate craving. Oh, why are we whispering? <laughs> Blueberry, cherry, and raspberry have hot chocolate. They do? Three whole thermoses of it. I'm going to go get some. <laughs> Careful not to get caught in our creature trap. <laughs> Wouldn't that be embarrassing? Getting caught in our own trap. <laughs> What is it? I forgot to give the other teams their thermoses of hot chocolate. I'm gonna go take it to them. That's nice of you. Want me to come with you? Well, who's gonna stay here with me? You have the puppies and a whole moat to guard you. It's okay, Cherry. I'll take Scouty. Come on, Scouty. Come on, boy. Walk. Go for a walk. Um, um. Drawbridge, milady. Why, thank you. Don't mind if I do. You can do it, Scouty! Hmm. Let's check that out. Oh, 
Oh, mud pies. I don't hear the whistling anymore. Now which way do we go? Ah, let's get out of here. Let's take a walk and look around. Listen Hello there, to Cherry. Pretty sounds. Cherry. No strawberry. Don't come any. Strawberry. Hmm. Mm. Very clever. Wish we'd thought of this. Easier than digging a moat. It's the creepy creature. Girls! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> you don't really think we're gonna catch something, do you? I brought you hot chocolate. <laughs> <gasps> they caught him! The creepy creature! Come on, Hannah! Careful. <laughs> Lemon! Careful of the string. Did you catch it? Maybe that's it. Ah, ah. Did you Where catch is it? it? We didn't catch anything but ourselves. <laughs> you got caught in your own trap? Yeah. What happened to you, Strawberry? I got caught in their moat. Huh. I feel shortchanged. We haven't caught anything at all. Whoa. Whoa. <gasps> Gooseberries! <gasps> if I didn't know better, I'd say that sounded like... Huckleberry! What are you doing in our creature trap? Not much. Hmm. What are you doing here? I was delivering pups for adoption, and I thought I'd stop by and say hi, and then the lights all went out and, well... <laughs> I got lost. <laughs> <laughs> Having some juice power problems in Berry Bitty City. How about setting me free? I don't know. Have you been stealing our marshmallows? And our horseshoes? And our capture the flag flags? Huh? <laughs> okay, so here's my plan. We all pretend to go to sleep, and we leave Lemon's stick. And when the culprit steals it, we'll hear the bells and... Pretend to be asleep. I'm so excited. <laughs> people, people, remember our acting lessons. Just relax your faces. What? Where? Oh, hey, girls! Wake up! The stick! The stick! My marshmallow stick! Stop! Please! Wait! Listen! What do you think it is? My... I hope it's not a creature that's too... creepy! Hurry! It's getting away! It's heading for home! Marmalade? You are the creepy creature? <laughs> Marmalade! What in the very bitty world are you doing? <gasps> Did you hear that sound? This is the source of a power problem. <laughs> My tennis balls! Our flags! Our horseshoes! Marmalade, you silly puppy. So this is where you 
you've been putting everything. <laughs> it was the fountain clog that bungled up the juice berry power grid. Problem solved. Yeah! <laughs> Aw, I hope this doesn't mean the end of our camp out. Of course not. We haven't roasted marshmallows yet. <laughs> Good morning, Postmaster. Oh, getting ready for your vacation, I see. Oh, feel the chill in that breeze. Yeah, not much summer left. We're trying to get going before it's over. Oh, I nearly forgot. Do you have anything for me today? Well, 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 well. <laughs> what have we here? Hmm. Now, that's either six dozen dried kidney beans, or... The maracas I ordered last week! Thank you, Postmaster. These are for our trip. When we get to Berry Breezy Bay Resort, they're gonna know we arrived. <laughs> Bravo! <laughs> well, have a wonderful trip, Ms. Pudding. that I'm forgetting. <laughs> Could it be... this? <laughs> Delivery from Happy Pappy Snapapple Farm. Perfect! <laughs> Thank you. Now I can finish my Snappy Apple Apple Snacks. Would you like some? Oh, they're very good. Nope, can't. I'm on that new buttercup diet. <laughs> well, happy vacation. I'm so excited. It's like I'm there. <laughs> We're not there yet. We will be tomorrow. It's all I can think about. All I want to do is dance and dance. Oh, I can't wait to move into our perfect peach pink palace. <gasps> what do you think? I love it. And I'll be surfing those perfect azure wings. And me? I'm gonna be sunbathing under their perfect rows of coconut palms. And I am just gonna wanna sing. Beyond the berry breeze, an island waits for me. A tropical paradise with blue skies. It's better than a dream to dance by the sea. Watching the waves all rolling by. Come on, girls, let's have some fun. Let's dance all day under the sun. Because the sunshine, girls. Tap your feet to the beat now. Sunshine, girls. Jump up, move to the groove. Yeah. Way to the left, strike the pose. Bounce, bounce, bounce like a beach ball. With Sunscreen lotion check. Swimsuits check. Beach towels check. Second set of beach towels for when the first set's wet. Check. Uh oh. Wow, Orange. Are you ever organized? Huh? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Just the vacation checklist that I made. Whoa, look at you. I've hardly started packing and already I've forgotten more than I can remember. Well, like I always say, you can never be too organized. I mean, what if we got all the way to Berry Breezy Bay Resort and forget something really important? Good point. Uh, you wouldn't happen to have a copy of your checklist that I could borrow, would you? Just so happens that the first item on my list was to make copies of the list for everybody. That's so She's very sorry. nice. Here you go. Orange's official list of everything we need to bring. I even made a list of all the lists I made. Organization. That's the key to a happy vacation. Well, we better get busy. We've got a big day tomorrow. See you later. Right, better hurry. Everybody ready to go? Everybody check and double check their lists? Yep. There's nothing to do now but wait for the butterfly bus. According to the schedule, it should be here. Punctuality. That's the key to a happy vacation.
Uh, I think I'll practice napping on the beach. I think I'll practice my nifty new surf move. It's called... <sighs> the snooze. <laughs> <laughs> Arrived. Oh, it's from the Berry Breezy Bay Hotel. We are happy that you will be visiting us <laughs> next year. What is it? Two months from now. We regret to inform you the resort has been closed early due to very, very breezy weather. It must be a joke. But look, there's more. This is no joke. Sorry. I really had my heart set on Berry Breezy Bay. I could almost feel that peach pink sand between my toes. <sighs> oh, oh, maybe we could go to the mountains instead. Except it's kind of breezier there. There must be other resorts. Yes, I'll start researching them. Oh, great idea. I bet we can find something just like Berry Breezy Bay. Um, I'm afraid that won't work. Summer is just about over. There's no time to plan a whole new trip. Yep. True. Yeah. <sighs> there aren't going to be any sand castles in the peach pink sand. No surfing those perfect azure waves. And no sunbathing under the perfect rows of coconut palms. But why not? Why not? Because the whole island is closed. Who says we have to go to the island? What are we gonna do? Bring the island here? Yep. Yeah, right. <laughs> Silly. <laughs> <laughs> if we can't go to the island, why don't we bring the island here? Do you know what she's talking about? Mm hmm. More or less. Mostly less. Here, let me show you. I'll build us a perfect copy of Berry Breezy Bay Resort. With a beach and palms and sand castles. But where? Right here, on the shore of Berry Bitty Lake. It'll be like we're really there. But it'll be our own place. A place where everyone in Berry Bitty City can vacation. Someday, we could even have guests. Just like a real resort. I don't know, Orange. Do you think it's a bit ambitious? Yeah, it's maybe just a little itsy bitsy bit impractical, if not undoable. Sure, it's ambitious, impractical, undoable, and downright impossible. That's why I'm the one to make it happen. Just gonna take some good old fashioned hard work. We're sunshine girls. Do -do 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 -do. Do you really think she can pull this off? It's going to be a whole lot of work. Maybe she's bitten off more than she can chew. I sure don't want her to be disappointed. Maybe she really can make it happen if we help her. What do you say, girls? Yeah, yeah let's we have do it, it together. Come on, guys. Let's get going. Can we help you, Orange? Well, let's see. Oh, why, yes, yes, you can. Lemon, you help Eric and Bloom with palms. Blueberry, we need chairs over there. Plum, strawberry, we need a tropical menu. Raspberry, you work with Eric and Bill on the sand. Cherry, you start very Heave, come! Heave, come! One down, 2,000 loads to go. Hmm. This is more red than peach pink. Berry Breezy Bay is famous for its peach pink sand. See? What if we try?
try adding some pink grapefruit juice to it. That might make it pinker. Good thinking, Strawberry. You and Lemon can... <gasps> oh, no. Um, no, 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 Cherry! The chairs go over here. Not too bad, I think, if I do say so myself. Not bad, but not perfect. It has to look exactly like the Berry Breezy Bay Hotel. They are famous for their exact replica sandcastle. Here, like this. But how do I... I mean, how can I... It's no big deal. All you have to do is tear this down and start all over. That's perfect! Just the right size for transplanting our Berry Bitty Coconut Palms. Um, where are our Berry Bitty Coconut Palms? Coming right up! I don't know how bitty they are, though. My Berry Bitty plant food is having a bit of trouble trying to bittyize these big boys. How much trouble? Uh, let's just say they're smaller than big, but bigger than bitty. Uh, but which could be good, depending. Depending on what? On um, how much shade you want. Let's bring one of them out! The smallest one, please! <laughs> Too much shade. I agree. Just another day or so, and I'll be able to grow them to very bitty size. All right, send it back to the nursery. <laughs> oh no! Let's see. What's next? Hey, Orange. You want to have a look at this? Sure, Raspberry. Um, where is it? It, um, uh, hmm, I could have sworn, but I, huh. Maybe we should try some lemonade. Well, that's very pretty. Oh, but it sure is starting to smell awful. Oh, no, 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 that's not it. It has to be exactly like the sand at Berry Breezy Bay. Well, we won't be able to call this Berry Breezy Bay Resort. Okay, team, let's try the wind machine. No, no, I can barely feel that. I want it to be a very big breeze. Try it again. Put a little more oomph into it. <laughs> your very best. But it was a very big project. Hmm? What were you saying? The resort? All that work? Blown away? Remember? I figured out the problem. My first sketch was just plain wrong. I downloaded the plans for Berry Breezy Bay from the internet. Now I can make it exactly like the real thing. Of course, we're going to have to work really, really hard to build this. Teamwork. That's the key. Meet me in five minutes and I'll hand out your new assignments. She can't be serious. We can't build something like that. There's no way. She's just setting herself up for another disappointment. <sighs> I'll go talk with her. 19 and 20. Orange? Hi, Strawberry. Glad you came. You can help me start digging the foundation for the hotel. Cherry can help mix cement. Plum can put in the plumbing. Raspberry's got the window shades and wallpaper. Lemon can lay the floor. I'll do the roof. And Blueberry can... Blueberry can... Hey, where are Cherry and Plum and Raspberry and Lemon and Blueberry? We're on a tight schedule. They're, uh... Not coming. Why not? 
<gasps> What's wrong? Well, I think maybe you have the wrong blueprints. I do? <gasps> oh, no! <sighs> oh, for a minute there, I thought I'd made a mistake or something. Nope. These are the plans, all right. The plans they used to build the real resort. See? Every detail is exactly, precisely the same as on Berry Breezy Island. The beach, the hotel, the chairs, the palms. But what about these? <laughs> oh, those aren't any good. Oh, I, I think they are. Oh, come on. Just look. The details are all off. See that beach? Way too small. And the chairs, they're in the wrong place. And don't you think this is the most important detail? Huh? What detail? This, right here. That's us having fun, having a great vacation together. Isn't that what matters most? Well, but wouldn't it be more fun with a big pink beach like this? And real palm trees like these? And... I think what makes it fun is us being together, having fun. Yeah. Come to think of it, I haven't been much fun. I guess I've been kind of bossy. We don't want to give up on helping you with your dream, but... You know, maybe we don't need a big pink beach. Maybe we don't need palm trees. What if we build a tropical paradise that's just right for us? <laughs> that sounds like a very good idea, Orange. And what if I try to have more fun building it? <laughs> All right. <laughs> hmm? Hmm. And Raspberry, build any kind of sand castle you want. Just have fun doing it. <laughs> oh, I have so many this is ideas. Be great. Come on, let's get going. <laughs> exact shade of pink. Maybe the coconuts aren't in perfect rows, but mmm, they taste great in these pies. Who needs the Berry Breezy Bay Hotel when we have beach bungalows just right for us? Maybe it isn't exactly like that other place, but this is better because we built it together. Orange, will you do the honors? I'd be happy to. My friends, tomorrow Vacation begins! Welcome to our very own Berry Pity Resort! Be on the berry breeze, an island waits for me. Tropical paradise with blue skies. It's better than a dream to dance by the sea, watching the waves all rolling by. Come on, girls, let's have some fun. Let's dance all
to explore Down on the ocean floor Dive in and swim around for a while Come on girls, let's have some fun Let's dance all day under the sun Because we're sunshine girls Tap your feet to the beat now Sunshine girls Jump up, move to the groove yeah. Sway to the light Pretty good, don't you think? It's paradise, Orange. <laughs> Our very own tropical paradise. Because we're together, being with friends. That's the key. Yeah! <laughs> hey, look, everybody! Surf's up! For the mail. <laughs> Marketplace all closed up? Yep, I did all the stuff you asked. Great, thank you. Guess we're all set to go as soon as the girls get here. Oh, I'm so excited to show you and Sweet and Sour how beautiful our countryside is. Your guys' first Berry Bitty City annual camp out. Uh, Strop, I think I've been on a few campouts in my day. <laughs> I know you have, Apple, but this is your first one with me. And that's very special to me. Oh, yeah, me too. What you got there? This is the perfect opportunity for me to film a camping video. I'm going to set up a link on my very best bits page. So, like a travel log? My night in the wilderness? Mm, not exactly. More like Apple's step-by-step -step guide on how to set up camp the right and proper Apple way. Sounds like a big project. No task is too big when it comes to teaching the world the science of camping in the outdoors. Sounds great, but, you know, this camp out is for fun and friends, not work. So I hope you won't be too busy to have fun, too. Sour! Sweet! Are you ready? Hi, Apple. Where is everyone? I don't know if this great outdoors thing is gonna be so great. Sour, we haven't even left yet. That's the best time to rethink going somewhere. That's a sweet camera, Apple. <laughs> sweet, get it? <laughs> <laughs> that does look pretty pro. Shooting a big movie? Camping tutorial. Oh, wow, great idea. A movie all about us? Oh, a video of our camp out? Uh, no, actually, none of you are in it, just me. I'm gonna demonstrate in high definition, stop motion, time lapse photography how to set up a camp, the fine points of how to properly pitch a tent, the do's and don'ts of unrolling a sleeping bag, how to avoid the heartbreak of a cold cook stove, two hours packed with vital information every camper needs to know. Oh. Uh Two hours? And an extra half hour of exclusive bonus material. Camping tutorial, the making of. I need a cloth to clean this with. Do you have one, Strop? Sure, in the kitchen. Are we ever going? Somewhere out there is a poison ivy plant with my name on it. We're coming! Huh? Wait for us! <sighs> Sorry, we're late, Strawberry. Whew. Almost forgot the supplies Sweet asked for. No worries. So, Orange, you got marshmallows? Check. 
Cherry's got them in her pack. Girls, I'm so excited to make you my special s'more than s'mores recipe. It's regular s'mores, you know, graham crackers, marshmallows, and chocolate bar, with my unique twist, strawberry slices and shaved almond. Yum, says Plum. Neat, says sweet. <laughs> Oh, nuts, says Orange. Uh, that doesn't rhyme. No, no, the almond! I think I left it on the counter in my store. I'll go with you. And chocolate milk! You can't have a campfire without hot chocolate! Plum's got it in her canteen! Perfect. We'll heat it up on our campfire and then... you all know what's next! <laughs> <laughs> what? What's next? We put the fire out? <sighs> it's one of our long-standing camp-out traditions. Tall tales. Tall tales? Yeah, we make up fun stories, like tales, like make-believe, and tell them around the campfire. Everyone gets a turn. The wilder, more outrageous, the better. Sounds outrageously thrilling. How about short tales, so we can get home sooner? <laughs> You're too funny, Sour. All ready. Are we good? <sighs> Almond. Got it. We're all set. Let's do it. up with her. You do that. I'm gonna take a little break. <sighs> Have a good See break, you Cherry. Idea. Enjoy your rest, Cherry. <sighs> now that looks like the best idea I've seen all day. Phew. You said it. Uh, guys? That isn't the chocolate milk for the hot chocolate around the campfire tonight, is it? Uh, and isn't that almond supposed to be for sweet special s'more than s'mores recipe? Uh, well, but n no one's gonna miss just one little sip. No one's gonna miss one little nibble. Well, then I'm having a marshmallow. No one will miss just one, right? <sighs> We're here. About time. Very beautiful meadow, our old campground. What a gorgeous spot. Huh? Apple, wow, you're really going to town. The first part of assembling a tent is to lay out all your equipment in a neat and orderly manner. I'm so sorry, but this is the spot where we usually build the campfire. It is? And we set up all our sleeping bags just over there. And our cooking equipment here, near the campfire. Can I help you move your... set over to the edge of the meadow? That's okay, Strawberry. I want to keep it in a certain order, so I'll do it myself. You guys go ahead. Don't mind me. in the very bitty world has happened to Orange, Cherry, and Plum. Maybe they got smart and went home. Sour. So, where's the marshmallows? I've got my stick. Let's get roasting. That's for after dinner. And we can't start dinner until we find the other girls. I'll go back down the trail and look for them, Strawberry. Thanks, sweet. I'll come with you. 
Cherry! Plum! Orange! Where have you been? Are you all right? So sorry, Strawberry! Long story. You wouldn't even... Believe it! Try me. Well, I was just taking a little rest stop with Orange and Plum, just minding our own business, not bothering us all, when all of a sudden... Butter and mushberries! My backpack! The marshmallows! Quick, catch them! Marshmallows. But suddenly, Orange ran out of tree. Plum and I had to think fast. She stuck a perfect ten landing. <laughs> How did you ever get the backpack back? Oh, yeah, we uh, made a trade with the bird. Orange's almond for my backpack. You mean there's not going to be any shaved almonds for my s'more than s'mores? Come on, is that what really made you late? No, it's not. <gasps> Cherry's just trying to cover up for me. The truth is, it was all my fault. It was the canteen of chocolate milk. <laughs> Like she said, we was about halfway up the trace, resting her dogs for a spell. Hey now, Plum, ain't that for strawberries, hot chocolate? We're meant to save that for around the campfire. Ah, oh, dang, Nabbit, y'all are right. Must be off my rocker. Then I up and recollected I'd been hankering to show the gals a new dance routine I'd been working on. Now, look here. Might come in handy next time we're high stepping at a square dance. <gasps> Sizzling sassafras! <laughs> oh, flusteration. It went down a crater hole. Boy, howdy. We're in for now. That strawberry's hot chocolate. Gotta get it back. We're with you, partner. Brisk up, gals. Here goes another. So back up, we clung down into that fire hole. Hold your horses now. Where'd that canteen get to? By all rights, should be right here. <gasps> well, there we was, down a hole without a coil. And then we heard something that made us wish we was anywhere but there. <gasps> hey, now. That canteen is iron, Buster. Gotta hand it over real friendly-like. Wouldn't you know it? That critter was skittish as a cat in a room full of rocking chairs. Balleration. Well, now the hair's in the butter. After that varmint! Easy now, boy. Easy. Keep him in the corral. Now, don't get his dander up. I'm gonna... He's on the prod, Plum. You best step lively. And I leapt up on him. Never have you seen such a catawumpus. Yeah! Ride him, Plum! Stick to your saddle. Rain right him in! Get him! Cowgirl! Woo! Yeah! Woo -woo. Well, I'm here to tell you, it was a rip snorting ride. That varmint threw me and was about to head for the high horizon. We could see we had just as much a chance taking our loop back as catching a weasel asleep. But we made a fair shake in the end. What do you think there, partner? <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, big fella. We love you, too. <laughs> <laughs> so... No almond shavings for my s'more than s'mores? <laughs> Come on. 
What really made you late? Okay, okay, here's the deal. Uh, it was really, uh, well, all my fault. The truth is... I put it to you, Orange. Might that be the very almond intended for sweet s'more than s'mores recipe? What? Why, well, indeed it is. Oh, whatever was I thinking, I shall squirrel it away, as they say, until an appropriate occasion calls forth the necessity to bring it out in the open. A hey, what? Well said, Orange. Well said. Uh -huh. <laughs> I beg your pardon? Is that polite? Cheeky fellow, eh, what? I say, fellow travellers, let's tarry no longer in this dreadful spot. Off we go! Beg pardon? Run! I must confess, I read like the very dickens. And who wouldn't, being chivied by a fiend, set on Pelonian Sweet's precious almond? I believe I have a strategy that I suspect might outwit this thieving rapscallion. Have you? Do tell. <gasps> I say, old girl, capital idea. like our tall tails? What tall tails? Wait a minute. Oh, no! Sweet, you weren't there! Wasn't where? This morning at the cafe when I explained about our tradition of telling tall tales. You went with Orange and... Oh, I'm sorry. Sweet. It's something we always do for fun around the campfire. We make up outrageous stories. Oh. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> oh, my goodness. I thought all those stories were real. <laughs> nah, it's all just silly stuff. <laughs> Plum and Cherry and I will get more kindling since we were late and couldn't help set up camp. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm dying to know what really happened. What really took you so long? Oh, Strawberry. I don't know, it's it's just too embarrassing. Come on. Well, it's like this. You see, we just stopped to take a break. Now that looks like the best idea I've seen all day. You said it. Uh, guys, that isn't the chocolate milk for the hot chocolate around the campfire tonight, is it? supposed to be for sweet special s'more than s'mores recipe? Uh, well, but no one's gonna miss just one little sip. No one's gonna miss one little nibble. Well, then I'm having a marshmallow. No one will miss just one, right? Hey, check it. 
my new dance routine. are so busted. No chocolate for strawberry? No marshmallows for sweets s'more than s'mores? I wouldn't want to be in your shoes. We better run back to my store. <laughs> Hurry, before someone sees us. Can't find my keys. Oh, here, hold this. Marshmallows. Check inside the storeroom. You got it. I found the marshmallows in the storeroom, but I tripped and knocked the door closed, and I couldn't get it opened. Hey, get me out of here! Hold on, Plum. We'll catch you. Here. Got everything? Canteen. Marshmallows. Check. Where's the almond? Inside. On the counter. Locked. Keys. Inside. On the counter. Next to the almond. Aww. Now what do we do? We gotta get back. It's getting late and they'll be worried. Sorry, sweet. You're gonna have to do without the almond. And so, we ran back up here as fast as we could. <laughs> That's the best tall tale ever! <laughs> but unfortunately, it's true. <laughs> oh, you daisies look thirsty. You're growing incredibly fast. Hi, Blueberry. So, how does your garden grow? Most definitely the fastest growing flowers I've ever seen. Just planted the seeds this morning, and look, they've sprouted already. Wow, that is fast. Zippy grow dramatic daisies, from berry bitty seed to full-size flower in just a few days. Um, how big do you think they'll get? Approximately as tall as my store. Oh, almost forgot. The cookbook you ordered came this morning. Oh, terrific! Here you are! The Mighty Muffin Cookbook. Big recipes for bitty bakers. Oh, thank you, Blueberry! You're very welcome. There's a corn muffin recipe in here that I can't wait to try. I've heard it's really good. But it's more complicated than anything I've baked before. I read about the author, a very famous chef in Big Bitty City. I'm sure if you just follow his directions, you'll be just fine. to 3.75. Check. Set timer for 25 minutes. Check. Huh? Strawberry? What is 
it? I don't know. Something's wrong with the oven. <gasps> what was that? My muffin recipe? If those are muffins, I can't wait to see what happens when you bake a cake. Thanks for helping me clean up, everybody. When somebody in Berry Bitty City needs help, we all help. <gasps> you got it. Sure, no problem. Glad to help. That's what we do in Berry Bitty City. <laughs> this is the strangest thing I've ever seen. And you're quite sure you followed the recipe? I think so. Well, the most likely explanation is that you must have made a mistake somewhere along the line. Seems like it. But I was sure I followed the directions. Well, I'll just have to try it again. And this time, I'll be super careful. Wow, no wonder they call you Zippy Grill. You're really getting big. Hmm, it's my observation that you look a little different from the picture. But you're so young yet. Who knows what you'll look like when you grow up? <gasps> oh, no! Come on! What is it? Oh, no! Not again. Let's go! Uh, don't worry. This time I just put one bitty, and I mean very bitty muffin in the oven, instead of a whole pan. Time, all I have to clean is the oven. Okay, I got it. Just change its name to Muffin Surprise. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. Muffin Explosion? Ha. Uh, Mega Muffin Explosion Supreme. Ha uh ha. -huh. <laughs> hey, that is pretty funny. <laughs> this really doesn't make sense. I was extra careful to follow the directions, but the same thing happened. I checked off every step. Double check the oven's temperature. Triple check the timer. Huh. Maybe the recipe has a mistake in it. What do you think? I think that's highly unlikely. Something you did seems more probable to me. Too much flour, not enough water? I measured everything to the last drop. But, you know, sometimes the most unlikely possibility is possible. There might be a mistake in the cookbook. But how could that be? I don't know, but the only way to find out is to give it another try and pay extra super close attention to every step. And if it still doesn't work, well, then maybe this is one of those times when I'll have to use my own judgment, my own common sense, and my own taste buds and adjust the recipe. Don't worry, I'll solve this puzzle. Hmm, I like directions you can count on. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes it's fun to improvise. Improvise? It means to make something out of what you have at the moment. Kind of like when things don't go as planned, go with what you have and make the best you can with it. I like it. Sounds like a good way to solve a puzzle. And speaking of puzzles, I've got one for you in my garden. Got a minute? Sure. Well, they're tall, all right. Even taller than the package said they were supposed to be. Are you sure they're daisies? Of course. It says so on the seed packet. Could they just look that way because they're still growing? Well, I'm not a plant expert. But you know who is. <laughs> Oops. Sorry, Blueberry. <laughs> no problem. See, yes, it must be. It's corn. Corn? Impossible! I planted daisy seeds. Oh, thank you, Blueberry. You're welcome, Berry Can Bloom. But 
Are you sure? Oh, yes. If you hadn't caught me... I mean about the, you know, daisies. Daisies? Oh, no, 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 no. Corn. Oh, dear. What's the matter? You've never looked sadder. It must have been something I did to the daisy seeds. Too much water or too little water or too much sun or something. Uh, oh, my. <laughs> you did everything right. <laughs> Best crop of corn I've seen. <laughs> Bet you'd be a natural with squash. Hmm. Oh, well, come on, everybody. Back to the berry works. <laughs> nice corn. Ooh, that's what I call corn. Tallest I've ever seen. Boy, it is big. Hi, Berrykins. Hi, Hi strawberry. strawberry. Nice corn. So I've been told. Maybe we better dig it up and replant it somewhere else before it gets too big? They can't get bigger. They're daisies. They have to be. It says so on the package. Well, I just came over because I got a letter from the author of the Mighty Muffin Cookbook. I wrote to him. You did? Uh-huh. I said I couldn't get his recipe to work, so I improvised. I've made muffins before, and I don't remember ever using that much baking soda. I tried using less, and the muffins came out better. So I asked the author, could there be a mistake in his book? And what did he say? That he checked it out, and yes, there was a mistake. The recipe called for a cup full of baking soda, when it should have been a tablespoon. Wow, that's the last thing I would have imagined for the cookbook to be wrong. I tried the muffins again with the right directions, and they came out perfectly. He says they're printing a new edition right away with the mistake fixed, and he's sending me a signed copy. <laughs> That's wonderful, Strawberry. So, you never know. Maybe you did everything right, but the package was wrong. Here, I made a batch of muffins for you. Oh. Thank you, Strawberry. My pleasure. Listen, gotta run back. <laughs> I'm still baking. See you, Blueberry. No. The plants I'm trying to describe that are growing in my garden at this very minute do not look anything like daisies. Okay, now let me get this straight. You're saying long leaves. Long leaves. Kind of bent down and flopped over, sort of like cornstalk leaves. Exactly like cornstalk leaves. And you say long thing is that sort of look like ears of corn. No, they look exactly like ears of corn. I'm looking at a picture of a big stalk of corn. Right here in the official encyclopedia of flowers, farm foods, and... Well, I'm a daisy man myself, no expert on corn, except when I pop it. But watch out when you pity that stalk pops with a bang. <laughs> but here at Zippy Grow Daisies, where daisies are our business and big flowers for bitty gardens is our motto, we pretty much guess that what you have growing there is probably... Corn. But how is that possible when I've planted your company's daisy seeds? Well, now, right there's the mystery. And I don't mind telling you, it's got us stumped. Oh! Oh, no! See, the plain fact is that here at Zippy Grove Daisies, we don't sell corn, no siree. But we're a fiction tool. Excuse me? Yes, ma'am. We've been experimenting with our own Zippy Grove supersized ever pop popcorn. Wow, what a bang when it pops. Goes off like a firecracker. As soon as we can figure out how to get the bang out of the pop, we're gonna put it on the market. In the meantime, we think that's the answer to your mystery. It is? Yep. We figure some of our experimental supersized popcorn must have gotten to one of our official daisy seed packets. And you bought it. <gasps> oh, no! Great so. We all feel so sorry it happened. We're sending you a year's supply of Zippy Grow Daisy Seed Packets. Compliments of Zippy Grow Daisies, where daisies are our business and big flowers for pretty gardens is our motto. Uh, thank you, sir. I appreciate your help. Good night. <gasps> oh, no! Everyone. 
I've called you all here is to see if we can put our heads together and figure out what we want to do with these. Well, since Blueberry says it's popcorn, I say let's pop it. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Uh, it sounds good to me. All right, let's get popping. Okay, yeah, and have a popcorn party. I think that would be lovely. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 Wait, wait! <sighs> oh, I wish I had listened to you, Strawberry, when you said I should replant them somewhere else. Now look at all the trouble my garden has caused. Oh, yeah. 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 I'm afraid a popcorn party with this popcorn would be ill-advised, meaning not a good idea. You see, the seed company hasn't figured out how to take the bang out of the pop, and I believe it would be too oh. dangerous. Huh? Oh, my! We are pretty bitty, and this corn pop's very big! Yeah, it's oh, not that a good idea. Uh, yeah, I think so. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Oh, oh, here's an idea. Um, We could dig up all the corn stalks and move them so no more grows here. Good idea. We'll start right away. And we better get all these ears of corn out of town before they ripen and drop their seeds and grow goodness knows how many more. Good point. Oh, I wonder how far we'll have to take them. I would estimate far enough away so when the seeds do grow, they don't threaten us again. Makes sense to me. Yeah. On strawberry, how can we move them? <laughs> We're so bitty, and they're so <laughs> big. <sighs> Too bad we can't eat them. I have an idea. Orange, do you have any more rope in your store? Yes, I do. Why? <laughs> Okay, let's move about! Should be far enough away, I believe. Oh no! Blueberry! Blueberry! Come on! Which way did they go? I don't know. Completely disappear. I mean, they're gone. Where are we? Down in some kind of cave. Hey, what's that? Smoke? No, it looks like steam. Probably some kind of underground hot spring. Hey, we're down here. I hope they can hear us. Come on, this is the direction they rolled. How long do you think it's been? Hours, but at least with the steam heat we'll be warm. I'm getting hungry. Yeah. Me too. I wish I had an idea how to get us out of this. Oh, I never read about this kind of thing in any of my books. We'll figure out a way. Improvise. What we need is a ladder. Too bad all we have is an ear of corn. Wait, what did you say? Improvise. That's it! Hey! An, an ear of corn ladder! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> The vent is making it too slippery. 
If only that steam vent would stop steaming. Now I'm really hungry. I wonder how raw popcorn tastes. Wait, why eat it raw? Because this place doesn't have a kitchen to cook it with. Use the steam vent. Heat the corn and make it pop. Then we could eat it. Good thinking, Strawberry. Places that they should be. It's like they just vanished into thin air. It doesn't make sense. Then uh, maybe we should look in all the places that, you know, uh, don't make sense. What, like the opposite direction from where we last saw them? Why not? Well, at least we'll have plenty to eat. We can always pop more corn. Popcorn. That's it. Let's pop all the corn and it will fill up this cavern and carry us to the top. Oh, Blueberry, that's a great idea. is in charge of the Wanderberry hunt. And you're the Berry Fest princess this year, so you tell us where to look. Lead on, oh fearless leader! <laughs> Very well, faithful berry hunters. 
as your most leaderly leader, I hereby decree we look... Hmm, um, how about over that way? Begging the princess's pardon, but the really amazing plants grow over by the creek. I bet it's that way. I read somewhere that wanderberries like shade. I say we check under those tall flowers. <laughs> I'm so sure we'll find it hiding in there somewhere. Wanderberries need sun. It's gotta be over there. <laughs> Guess they all have their own ideas, huh? I have a feeling we'll find it over here. Just a hunch, but that's what my heart's telling me. Come on, you two. <laughs> okay, Custard, Popcake, keep your eyes open. Only one Wonderberry plant grows at a time. And it could be anywhere. Could be right under our noses. <laughs> There it is. The one and only, one of a kind, <gasps> Wonderberry. <gasps> Isn't it the most very beautiful thing you've ever seen? Careful, Pupcake. This berry is going to be our dessert at the Berry Fest feast tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Are you all right, Mary Kim Blue? Uh, uh, yes, uh, thank you, Miss Shortcake. Uh, had a little stumble, took a little tumble, as I was looking for. <sighs> but you found it. Oh, my, 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 yes, yes, yes. A fine specimen this year. About the biggest I've ever seen. Oh, the color's so rich. The shape just so, the texture. Oh, amazing! Oh, and the aroma! Oh, yes! Perfect in every way! Oh, Custard, no. Yes, Pet, we must take care. There is but one of these delicious, nutritious berries at any given time. And how fitting that you, our new Berry Fest princess, should have found it. Found it? Found it? Who found it? Strawberry! Strawberry found it! Look at it! Isn't it something? Unbelievable! It's incredible! Now, now, you know the tradition. It's the Berry Fest Princess who plucks the berry. Oh, I knew that. Didn't you know that? I wanted no, to see yeah, if you yeah, sure. yeah. <laughs> Princess Strawberry? I'd be honored. Mm. Oh, harder! You can do it! Come on, oh. Strawberry! Give it a good shake! Oh, that's it! At this moment, a new Wanderberry is springing up somewhere. Could it be here, or there, or there? We never ever know quite where. This thing's pretty heavy. It's gonna take all of us working together to get it back. Is everyone ready? Ready! Uh, Miss Shortcake? What's the matter? Did you hear that? Uh, I didn't hear anything. Me neither. Me neither either. But listen. Very close. Oh, there it is again. How very beautiful. Oh, quite a lovely sound. I still don't hear anything. I hear my stomach growling. Oh, just thinking about our picnic tomorrow and having this berry for dessert. Oh, it stopped. I wonder why. All I know is we have to get this berry back. Uh, you're right, Orange Blossom. Let's get moving. Whee! Oh! Whee! How will we 
get the berry back now. Yeah. What'll we do, a wise leader? Just gonna have to carry it back, I guess. Oh, that thing must weigh at least a lot. We can do it together. Come on, everybody. Grab hold. Let's go with your legs. Okay, guys. Count to three. One, two, three. Better hurry. It's getting dark. Yeah. Can't leave it way out here. Gotta get it back tonight. Right. We have a tradition to keep, you know? Oh. right? We should keep moving, right? Oh, it is tradition, <laughs> but you are the Berry Fest princess and this decision is yours to make. I know everyone is very tired. We're having the picnic here tomorrow. That's true. So we just have to bring it back. Yeah, I guess it'll be okay. Do you hear that? It sounds somehow different now. Almost like something's wrong. Maybe we should go look for it to make sure it's all right. Strawberry, strawberry, strawberry! It's a disaster! Disaster, disaster! What is? What's the matter? What's wrong? Oh, come on and see! You tell me what. <gasps> oh no! Is everything all right? The berry kids tell me that. Oh, oh my! We've been robbed by rabbits, burgled by bunnies, and they ate almost every last berry bit. Oh, I was really looking forward to a big berry dessert this afternoon. It just won't be the Berry Fest feast without it. Yeah, it's a tradition. When the old one disappeared, a new one popped up. Somewhere, right, Berry Kim Bloom? Oh, yes, uh, that's true. Quite true. Oh, right. We'll have a Wonderberry after all. Fantastic. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love it. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go find it. I think there's something wrong with that bird. I think it needs me. I think we need you. You know, she's right. There's only about a ton of things to do around here. And since you're the Berry Fest princess this year, you're in charge of everything. You have to judge the flower show. And you need to help with the Berrykin Band concert. And there's the whole Berry Fest feast to plan. And you can't do anything till we find another Wanderberry? You're the leader. You have to decide what we do next. All right, all right. I will decide. Orange Blossom, you help the Berry Kim Band set up for their concert. Will do. Lemon Meringue, you get the flower show set up and pick the top three for me. I'm on it. Raspberry Tort, Plum Pudding, Blueberry Muffin, you'll help me get the food ready for the feast. And you, yeah. I want you to go look for the new Wanderberry, okay? Woo -hoo. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Forty-six and forty-seven. Right. 
need about another dozen. All done with the flowers. Need any help in here? Oh, we'd love some help with the sandwiches. The Perrican Band's ready to go. Can I help you? We can use all the help we can get. You and I can work on the salad, Orange Blossom. See? We're going to be fine. As long as we work together, nothing can stop us. <gasps> Did you find the new Wanderberry? We looked everywhere. Two times. No, three. We couldn't find it. And we're as sorry as can be. <sighs> oh, no. How can we possibly have the Berry Fest feast without the Wanderberry? It's almost time for the picnic. You still have to pick a winner at the flower show. And there's the band concert, too. So what are we going to do, Strawberry? What are you going to do, Strawberry? You're the leader here. Yeah. Tell us, Strawberry. What's going to happen? What do we do? Yeah, what? I don't know. I need a minute to think by myself. Was it just me, or did she seem a little stressed? Ugh, I have no clue what to do. It's all just... Oh, too much. Oh, there it is again. It's coming from over there, isn't it? It sounds like it's having some real trouble. I better go check on it. Oh, but they're waiting for me back there. What should I do? Oh, it's so hard to decide. It's never easy, is it? Oh, I want to make everybody happy, but they all want something different. I can't decide who to listen to first. Oh, you'll do the right thing. Don't worry that the others might disagree with you. Just listen to your heart, Strawberry Shortcake. You have a very good one, you know. Thank you. I'll tell your friends that you need a few minutes. I know what I have to do. I have to find that bird, but... <sighs> Which way now? Do you think it sounds weaker? Seems like it's coming from this way. Come on, you two, let's hurry. I still hear it. It's up here somewhere, I'm sure. You can do it, Pupcake. There you go, come on now. I think we're getting closer. Oh, I don't hear it anymore. Do you? Where could it be? What is it, Custard? Oh, you found the Wanderberry. It's smaller than the other one, but it's still very beautiful. I'll be careful not to lose this one. Strawberry! You found it! Oh, we were worried about you. Didn't know you were out here finding the Wanderberry all by yourself. Lucky for us, you're the Berry Fest princess this year. Come on, let's get it back to town. In just a moment. Uh, but why not now? Because first, I have to find that bird. Do you know where it is, Pupcake? <laughs> there it is. Oh, poor little fella. Oh my, this sweet little thing. What's the matter with it? I'm not sure. Oh dear, it's all tangled up. Can you get it loose, Strawberry? I think so. There, you're free. Go on, little birdie, you fly away now. We have to get this berry back home. Uh, Strawberry, you coming? Something's still wrong. Oh, it can't fly. Why not? I don't know. Uh, maybe it, it hurt its wing. Oh, 
We better leave it here and, and get a doctor. Or we could build a stretcher and carry it back to town. Yeah, those are very good ideas, but... What is it? Are you hungry? Uh, strawberry? That's for the feast, remember? Let's see if it wants some. Does that make you feel better? I have some more. Oh, well, uh, uh, don't give it all. We can find some seeds or something. But this is helping. It's a very special plant. The Wonderberry is especially nutritious. If we don't get the berry back for the feast, everybody's gonna be really disappointed. Well, if they are, I'm sorry. But this is the right thing to do. I know it is. But how can you be so sure? I can't be completely sure, but I have to make what I feel is the best decision and go with it. I guess that's what being in charge is about. I've considered everybody's ideas, but now I have to do what I feel is right, even if it doesn't please everyone. You can't make a better decision than that. It is pretty, isn't it? Yeah, kind of beautiful. Here, little fella. That berry was just what it needed. I'm glad we listened to you, Strawberry. Otherwise, we never would have made up our minds on what to do. <laughs> That's why you're the leader, because you know how to stick with a good choice, even if it wasn't what the rest of us wanted. Thanks, guys. Strawberry! It's wonderful! What? What is it? Guess we're having a very fest feast after all. Is everybody ready for dessert? <laughs> I think there's enough to go around. But first, first, my friends, let's thank our hostess, our very fest princess, for this wonderful feast. Thank you, everybody. I'm just glad that... that... What's the matter, Strawberry? You speechless? No. Listen. That's the song it was singing the first time I heard it. No. I think it's a little different. I think this song is a song meant for you. <laughs> 